Good morning, guys. It is very early in the morning, and everyone is still inside sleeping. But I just wanted to get up and get some fresh air, talk to you guys, and just kind of just see my surroundings. We got here pretty dark. It was late, so I just wanted to see what it was like before we head out here. Covered wagon, that was pretty cool. Um, it's definitely different, not something I'd sleep in every night, but it was pretty cool. And um, I'm excited for the today. We're gonna go see Teton. So I just wanted to take a minute and just fill you in. We're staying at a place called Buffalo Valley Ranch. But um, it's super cool. It's a ranch, they have like a lodge up there and you can um, ride horses and whatnot. And it's just, it's amazing to come out here early in the morning and just kind of watch how all these uh, ranch handlers or these horse handlers, you know, getting all the horses ready and just taking in nature and watching the way something like this works. It's super cool. I, uh, I could totally see myself at a place like this. <laughs> I, uh, I always dream of when we settle down having some kind of ranch or a farm, but uh, this is definitely a really cool spot. You get a great view of the mountains, and there's a valley, there's a beautiful river. Um, the horses are always nice to uh, see. It was nice to see some wildlife, got to see some moose first thing in the morning. That was wild. First one I've seen since we've been out here. It's been amazing, yeah, so just being able to come out here and just take in the fresh air. It is very cold, by the way, but um, nevertheless, it's, it's, it's breathtaking, and it's, it's actually been a great journey so far. I'm so happy with the way things have been turning out. I'm glad that you guys could join us for all of these uh, adventures. I'm excited to see Grand Teton. I've never been there. So that ought to be pretty interesting to see what it has to offer. I'm assuming from the looks of just a, a simple ranch like this, it's gonna be beautiful. I believe we're about a half hour away from Grand Teton and then we are about an hour away from Jackson. And then from there, I believe that's an hour away from where we are stationed in Sugar City. So in full spectrum, we'll, uh, we'll be making one big circle back to our uh, trailer. So, can't wait for that to, can't wait for the, honestly, I just can't wait to get back in my bed, man. Um, I miss my bed. <laughs> quite an adventure trying to navigate our way through these national parks because there's absolutely no service. No, through Grand Teton. Okay. Yellowstone was very labeled yeah. and like easy okay, that's to maintain, true. like maintenance. That's so true. So that was week three. So yeah, we are using good old fashioned maps. I feel like such a millennial not knowing how to read this to some extent, but we're making headway. We figured out a direction and we are headed to Signal Mountain to hear about a view. A local, which is funny because he was from Florida, but a local told us about Signal Mountain has a beautiful view and possibly there's a strong possibility that we'll see bears. And also on a side note, Dad, if you're watching, he also was born in Cleveland, Ohio and had a brown placker up. Yeah, yeah. So, stay tuned for Signal Mountain. Press the brake. There you go. All right, roll up the windows. Good job. No, roll it up, dude. 
All right, good job. When your preteen wants to start the car and roll up the windows, I choose your battles. In the car. So we made it to the top of the mountain and now we get oh, to see the beautiful that. view. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Bobo. All right, let's see. Hey, Bobo. found ourselves a parking spot. Kim had, Kim had to brush up on her parallel parking. She did a great job. And now we're gonna go on a tiny little hike around a lake called Ginny Lake. Here in... Anyone named Ginny Spring Lake. And that trail will head us alongside Ginny Lake and out to a lake called String Lake. Ginny, anyone named String? Say hi. Get your rag top out. making some headway on the trail. The weather out here is phenomenal. We're walking right along the lake. Yeah. It's beautiful out here, man. I love this type of country. I feel like Grand Teton is like an underdog because yeah. they have Yellowstone, but Yellowstone is more like a drive up and see the sceneries, yeah. where Grand Teton is like hike and be one with the nature. Yeah, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, this is the park to go to because the other one, seems like a tourist attraction but it is still very beautiful i mean it's a good tourist attraction <laughs> but yeah but nevertheless um definitely been enjoying what this park has to offer as far as like recreational things it's super it's super active out here i've seen a lot of people biking and kayak and hiking and dragging sticks on the dirt He's trying to make a trail so we know how to get back. Yeah, smart. So we made it to our halfway point in this three mile hike alongside this river. So this bridge right here is the midway point. You have String Lake and you have Lehigh Lake up that way. So if we we started back around this way and traveled along the creek the whole, or the river the whole way, cross the bridge and then you'll finish out the rest of the trail that way until you're back to where you started, way back there. It's been beautiful out here. We're just taking some photo ops. Junie's getting a water break. I'm trying to take a picture without noise. No. Photo, do oh. photo doesn't have any noise, but I'll be quiet. I'm uh, trying to get the sound of the river. Oh, okay.
right there. All right, so we're about three quarters of the way through the hike. It's been fabulous out here and you can hear the water. So I know we're kind of close to the beginning again because we started with water and I think we end with water because it's one loop. What's been your favorite part of the, the hike so far? Um, just being in the shade mm. and like having all the trees around us and we've been hitting like cold spots and then out in the sun and then cold spots. And right now we can hear Right now we can hear a waterfall, so that's beautiful too. Champ, what about you, buddy? The bridge. Yeah? That, that was pretty cool. That bridge was pretty, huh? And Junie? Knowing that I might get to swim after. Yeah. That's what's got you motivated on this hike? Yeah, so at the very, at the very beginning of the hike, we opened up at a lake. Um, and that's where we would like to take the kids to go swimming, hopefully to just cool off. We're at the end of the trail. We got one little river to go across. Cute little bridge. And we're done, bro. Hey, lady. We made it. Right there. Yep. You made it. Yeah, yeah, we made it. Alright guys, well that does it for us in the national parks of Yellowstone and Teton. We've had a great time out here. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it just as much as we did. If you like videos like this, give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below and be sure to follow us for more adventures. Until next time guys, take care.